Hi everyone, welcome back to English with Emma. In this video, you'll learn how to pronounce words that are often difficult to pronounce. Um, uh, if you find this useful, then please hit like and why not subscribe to the channel? Let's get started. So let's start with answer. Now, people often say answer because of the W, but the W is silent. This can be a noun. What's the answer? It can also be a verb. Answer the question. So if we look at the picture, the man uh, wants to answer the question because he knows the answer. Aunt. Another noun. What's an aunt? Look at the picture. We've got the baby, mum, uh, mum's sister, and mum's sister is the baby's aunt. Now, are not, if you contract it, you get aunt, and it's pronounced in the same way. So you could say, I saw my aunt at the weekend, and um, aren't you tired? And aunt and aunt are pronounced exactly the same way. Although um, in American pronunciation, you would probably hear the R a little bit more. Okay, suit. Suit is another word that's often mispronounced. So what's a suit? Well, as a noun, this is a suit. So uh, men and women wear suits to work very often. And it forms parts of other words like suitcase. So when you go to the airport, you take your suitcase or swimsuit. Now, when I go to the beach or the swimming pool, I wear a swimsuit. So suit can also be a verb. That dress suits you. So if something suits you, it means that it looks good on you. So again, we've got the suit and then it's often confused, it's often pronounced as sweet, but sweet is a completely different thing. So uh, sweet as a noun, these are sweets. You can buy sweets in the sweet shop. And it can also be an adjective. Cakes are sweet, like they are full of sugar. They have a sugary, sweet taste. This word, it's uh, spelled very like suit, but it's also pronounced sweet. And it has two meanings. It's a noun and it can be a set of rooms in a hotel. So if you get a suite, a hotel suite, then you don't just have the bedroom, but maybe a bedroom with a bathroom and a living room as well. And it can also be a set of furniture, typically a sofa and two armchairs, a living room suite. So again, we've got suit, suite, suite, sweet and sweet stomach people often pronounce this stomach but the h at the end is silent english is full of silent letters so we've got stomach there we go there's the stomach and it can often also be called tummy ache is another word that's often mispronounced and again like stomach the h is silent so we don't say h we say ache what's an ache well ache is uh, like a pain this man is in pain he has an ache what kind of ache a stomach ache specifically and we can also say tummy ache Comfortable, adjective. People often say comfortable or comfortable. You know, if you look at the spelling, it looks like it's got four syllables, but actually there are three syllables. Comfortable, a comfortable hammock. The man is very comfortable. And the opposite, uncomfortable. This bench looks very uncomfortable. I don't want to sit on it. Colleague. Colleagues are people that you work with. 
Now, this word is often confused with college. Uh, college can mean different things depending where in the world you are. So, for example, in the UK, you go to college from the age of 16 to 18 to prepare for university. And uh, you do A levels or AS levels. And it's like um, in America, it's sort of like the last couple of years, or the last two years of high school when you're preparing to go to university. So this is a college student. And in the USA, college means university. So um, in America, you go to college, which means that you go to university, get a college degree, a university degree. So again, colleague, college, or college. Finally, we have vegetable. People often say vegetable, 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 but no. Uh, again, like comfortable, it is three syllables. Vegetable, vegetable. I love vegetables. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, again, I hope that you found that useful. If you did, hit like and uh, subscribe to the channel. It's free. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.